Now at six, the head Carmel High School girls basketball coach fired from the job is shedding light on why he was fired and what he wants you to learn. Carmel Clay terminated Todd Winland in April, leading to public outcry from the community. But the reasons why he was fired remain unclear. Tonight, Winland is speaking in his first on-camera interview with Call 6 Investigates Kara Kinney. Kara? That's right, Erica. Here in the Call 6 office, we are always digging for answers. We're always digging for the truth. We've been looking into why Carmel fired its head girls basketball coach. This is the response that we got. The program had become divided and a change in leadership was necessary. Well, tonight, that coach is telling his side of the story. Coach Todd Windland came to Carmel Clay in 2014 to become the girls' head basketball coach, where he won three sectional championships. On April 20th, the district fired him just days after sending out these letters to parents saying he would stay on as coach. The firing led to public outcry, including a rally with players and students and a heated school board meeting. We do not understand why he was fired. What transpired is really the million dollar question of why. Todd Winland says several parents complained to the district higher ups about him. So it was verbal abuse? Did it oh, ever get, yeah. they, oh, they oh, accused yeah. you of verbal, verbal abuse? Verbal abuse, call, calling him soft, calling him cupcakes. You know, did you call him that? Oh, yeah, you know, you're playing soft, you know, you're just a cupcake today. Windland admits to using profanity at times. I'll say, you know, you know, what the hell's going on or, you know, you got to get the damn ball, mm -hmm. you know, not, none of it viciously attacking. Windland points to other Central Indiana coaches accused this year of verbal abuse, like Center Grove's football coach Eric Moore. But unlike Windland, Moore kept his job. What's going on? It's an epidemic uh, of, of, of parents getting out of their lane or overstepping their boundaries. The coach believes his firing comes down to parents upset their kids were not getting enough playing time. It's hard work. If it wasn't, everybody would be doing it. According to a federal lawsuit filed last month against Carmel Clay Schools, a former school employee says Windland was hostile and physically threatening to her. Windland says her allegations are unfounded. It's a complete joke. Last month, Winland went to the office to look at his personnel file, but he says a lot was missing, including interviews with parents. You wanted the full investigation. I wanted investigation. the full investigation. Well, and it wasn't I, in there. I don't know. I don't know where it's at. He's hired an attorney to fight for those records. They've, you know, defamed and slandered me uh, to the point that I know it's not true. Carmel Clay made headlines again this month after an assistant swim coach was arrested for having sex with a student. Winland says he avoided texting students directly as a safeguard, something the district emphasized repeatedly. I can't tell you how many meetings I've been to and that has been said over and over and over. Winland says parents, especially with kids in sports, need to know their words and actions matter greatly. The parents got to know that it's okay for their kids to fail. It's, it's how they respond to that adversity. It's how they overcome obstacles that are going to make them better in life. And, and let them, let them face a little adversity. Today, too many parents don't want their kids to face any adversity. On Monday, we put in a request to Carmel for a copy of his personnel file as well as a copy of the full investigation. We just now tonight got a response from Carmel saying they received our request and they're working on it, but we have yet to see those records. Kara Kenny, RTV6.